what's going on everyone all right so let's talk about transformers one as always if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe let's keep growing let's keep going show your support all right so look i finally went to go see transformers one and what's my thought i it was fun but it wasn't the best all right you have to go in and if you're a true hardcore transformers fan you might enjoy this but you might not because it's a 50 50. i've been seeing you know forums you know and, and groups and stuff where people are talking online and i've been seeing both sides it's a 50 50. this movie sadly is considered a flop because it's not making the money that it was supposed to at the box office and you know it, it, it is what it is but when it comes down to transformers i'm a fan i'm not gonna say i'm a hardcore fan of everything because like everything you know you have different brands and you know you have different lines of whatever it is for different series within the brand so when you have transformers this is an animated film all right it's not a live action it's not connected to any of the movies it's its own thing now this is where the problem comes in because as a fan they want to tell you and try to sell you this movie that this is the origins of you know optimus prime and megatron and it's done really good i like how they do it you know it's not 100 percent perfect but you see how megatron becomes megatron and why he becomes into that character so that's understandable and the same thing with optimus prime and leading and building everything up to it is good the action was good you know the the, the special effects when it comes to of course the animation was good now was this worthy to have been released in the theaters no this should have gone straight to streaming on Paramount Plus because it would have been a bigger success compared to what they're doing with the theaters. Of course, you have to share profits with the theaters, the marketing and everything that comes with it. They should have just put it straight to streaming and I guarantee you that it would have been a hit much more than what it is right now. And honestly, it's a fun movie. Of course, this movie is made for kids. This is not something that if you're an adult fan you're like i'm gonna go in there and watch this because you know it's like the live action movies no it's not it's nowhere near it i keep seeing some fans saying that this is the best transformers of all no it's not honestly to each their own and that's the beauty of being a fan whatever genre you're in into and stuff like that so as a transformers fan was it fun yes was it something that i had to see right away no this is something that you can wait for it to come out like on streaming later on because this is a movie that you want to go with the you know with your family friends or you know if, if you have a loved one whatever just one of those type of things but it's not something that you're like oh wow i really want to see it you know don't expect too much again there's a lot of like cheesiness it's it's a kids movie it literally felt like you're watching a dreams a dreamworks movie you know made by disney and pixar but of course you have a little bit more, you know, like stronger scenes in the sense because when they're fighting and stuff with the war scenes. But I mean, it is what it is. It was enjoyable. It wasn't the best. And as a Transformers fan, I'm just so, you know, stuck with my mentality of I want it live action only, you know, because when you have these live action movies, they're 10 times more fun. They're more exciting. And they don't have to be accurate. Not everything has to be G1. I'm tired of that. I like what Michael Bay was giving us. I like what Travis Knight was giving us. You have that realistic take. But at the same time, you have some comic, you know, accurate stuff to it. But build off of it. These are aliens. These are futuristic type of robots. Nothing should be considered real in this universe. That's what I like what Michael Bay was giving us with the Bay Formers in the live action. Now, this is something that, you know, you'll enjoy, but at the same time, it's something that you don't have to go and see it now. If you're one of those type of fans where you're like, well, I could wait for it, you know? I'm a Transformers fan and I missed a lot of their shows, you know, especially like Beast Wars. You might enjoy it because you have that kind of animation, but of course it's more modern. But yeah, overall, I give the movie from one to 10, I give it a solid five. It wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, but it was enjoyable for the moment. You know, I just still can't pass the face designs on these characters. But other than that, it was all right. What are your thoughts? Hit that subscribe, drop your comments, and until next time.